Elise and I help tech challenge makers build an e-commerce brand in six strategic steps. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel where you can find lessons for your e-commerce shop that take just seven minutes or less. Today, we are once again talking about ring lights. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Auraday 12 inch ring light. It is this one right here. If you've missed the three previous videos, we talked about this giant monster of a ring light. We talked about this other ring light here, which is amazing and color, colorful. And we did an overview of all the colors of all the ring lights so that you can see the differences among them all at one time. But today we're gonna to be focused on the Auraday 12 inch ring light. So before we jump into that, just a quick reminder. I do have a spreadsheet that you can download that has all this information laid out for you so you can find the exact right ring light for you. Just click the link below. And there will also be a link if you decide that you would like to purchase this ring light. So without further ado, let's jump right in to the ring light overview. Okay, so we are talking about the RDA 12 inch ring light today. It is $42 if you want to get the new mount that I recommend. Why, Elise, would you want to buy a new mount if you already have one? Well, let me talk about the one that comes with this ring light and why I don't like it. So let's talk about the pros first. You can see that it mounts here at the bottom and that means your phone is gonna be away from the ring light itself and that means it will not cover the ring light, which is super important. But in order to adjust this phone, you have to screw this little screw in order to get it to get bigger or smaller and it takes forever and I hate that. So I recommend getting one that is spring loaded instead of screw loaded because this is ridiculous, okay? Second, if you want to adjust your phone to go from horizontal to vertical, you have another screw, yay! And then you can finally move it and then you have to screw it back. So this phone mount, I do not like. That being said, if you want to have the original phone mount when you buy your ring light, you can definitely do that. And your ring light would be $33 at the time of this video. If you decide you'd like the upgraded phone mount, that does not make you do all the screwing. That one would make is an additional $9, so your ring light would be $42. I would challenge you that the extra $9 is definitely worth it. <laughs> okay. So we have got a 12 inch diameter ring light at $42 if you want the new phone mount. And the number of lights in this particular ring light is 240. And for those of you who missed the first video, you may not realize that this giant monstrosity also has 240 ring lights. So what does, or sorry, 240 lights. So what does that mean? This one and that one have the same number of lights. You would expect that to mean that this one is significantly brighter and it is a brighter than the other ones here. If you wanna see more about that, go back to the first video, but it is actually not brighter than the big one. The big one is actually the brightest of them all, but 240 lights is amazing. Um, brightness on that one, like I said, is brighter than the other ones that are shown here, but not brighter than number one. Does not have any rainbow of colors, but it does have warm. Then it has a mix between warm and neutral, neutral and cool tones. So you've got four tones with this particular light. Um, the control location on this one is on the light itself, which is actually really nice because you don't have to worry about losing a remote. It is also not covered in any way, so you can access it no matter what. That being said, when you turn this to be bent 180 degrees down so you can take top-down shots, it is difficult to get to these. So it's nice because you don't have to worry about losing it. It's not as nice because when you're doing a product photo shoot, it can be more difficult to adjust them. So this allows you to switch between the lights and you can make it brighter or darker, okay? It does bend 180 degrees forward in order to do your product shots. I will demonstrate that now. So all you do is turn this little knob and you bend it forward. And it does go 480, like so. If you want to twist this light, your only option is to actually twist the light itself, like so. But it does stay pretty firm that way. Now this particular light is a little wobbly. You can see as I made that adjustment, it is starting to wobble. So the stability, I gave this light is only three stars. The first two, I gave four stars on stability because they seemed a little more stable to me. They didn't shake as much as this one does. Shaking is really a bad thing because when you're taking a photo, it can give you a blurry photo. When you're taking a video, you get that motion that you don't want, right? We 
don't want the motion for our photos. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this back up. And let's continue talking about our ring light here from our day. There we go. Okay, so the stand itself is actually pretty easy to adjust though. It's got these little clips that you can just kind of open and raise and lower, which is really nice. And I think that's much easier than having to actually do a screw to, a screw to go up and down. The height on this one is says is 33 to 78 inches. Now I am six feet tall, so I would say that is pretty accurate to the top of the light. The stand itself is clearly not 78 inches. So 33 to 78 inches is what they say on the listing that's actually to the top of the light, not the top of the stand. The tripod adap adapter and the phone adapter on this one are both quarter inch screws. And that's good because it means you can mount a camera to both places and a few other accessories. But the quarter inch screw um, does not allow you to use any of the, the adapters that use a hot shoe mount. So pay attention to what other things you might want to mount here and see what type of mount you need. Um, the phone holder itself on this one is pretty stable, especially with the upgraded one. I really like that one better. And you do have the ability to do the vertical or horizontal shots. The phone cover, the phone does not cover the light ring, regardless of whether or not you choose the original or you get the upgraded mount. Um, and it does come with a phone shutter remote. So that is right here. And so you do have the option of using that for your product shots. Um, last two things, power source. This one is a wall outlet. So that means it is not going to work on a USB battery or a USB plug. You have the wall outlet that comes with it. You plug that into the wall, that's your only option. Now this of course is because it has 240 lights. You simply cannot put something like that on a battery. And then finally, it does not come with any kind of travel case. So if you decide to take it somewhere, you're gonna have to be really careful with it and you don't wanna end up accidentally breaking it. All right, so that is it for the R Day 12 inch. Don't think there was anything else we need to go over with that one. Be sure to comment and let me know. What do you think about the lights we've already gone through? Do you have any more questions that maybe I didn't cover? And what are you looking forward to finding out the most? What kind of ring light do you need? Are you looking for a travel light? Are you looking for one that has the best lighting? Are you looking for one that is the best overall? Is budget your biggest concern? Tell me below so that I can make sure I cover what you need in my next video. Thank you again, my name is Elise. I am the owner of My Scheduled Biz and I help tech challenge makers establish a profitable e-commerce brand in six strategic steps. Be sure to sign up for notifications so that you can get access to more teaching for your e-commerce shop that takes just seven minutes or less. I will talk to you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye guys.